Saturday afternoon at the Convocation Center. Ohio picks up a victory. The Bobcats take care of Cleveland State 71-53. He's Rob Cornelius. I'm Marty Bannister. In for the voice of the Bobcats, Russ Eisenstein. And Ohio picks up the victory. Defense right at the start of this game, Rob. Cleveland State doesn't score a basket for the first four minutes. Yep. Ohio led this thing stem to stern, but defense first half, defense second half. You kept them from hitting very many threes. One of 14 shooting the three in the first half. It's continued from there. You hold a team to shooting sub-33% of the game. Great things will happen. Balance the key for Ohio this afternoon as well, too, on a day where Tony Campbell doesn't score into double figures until the second half. He only had three in the first half. You can go up and down the lineup. Gavin Block, Jordan Dardis, everybody stepped up. Kenny Kaminsky this afternoon, Jason Carter, all played big games. Yeah, everybody there seemingly with 8, 9, 11, 14 points. A lot of balance out of this group in a day where you didn't go and score 90 to have that many guys around that spot. You saw efficiency. We talked to Gavin Block in our post game. His offense starting to come around, come back along with his minutes going up this season. And Ohio was a lot more efficient today, especially in the second half. Maybe too many turnovers, though. 23, the high water mark there for Ohio. That's the most they've had in a the game this season. But again, as Saul Phillips told us on radio post game wise, uh, that's a number that you can kind of live with because they were attempting to make things happen on offense. Yeah, you really were. And a lot, a lot of them involved live ball turnovers, runouts against them. Ohio made mistakes in the half court, throwing the ball around, but they'll figure it out. Jerron Simmons, shaky early on, consistent down the stretch, pulled this thing together. And I think the impressive thing about Ohio today, and you and I mentioned it on the post game uh, during the radio broadcast, maybe not their best effort today, certainly not a 100% type effort or a grade A type effort, but it's a victory. And when you go back on the road Wednesday night, you take this one in your hip pocket and you get out of town. Yep, led by 20, maybe never felt like, but you only beat these guys by nine last year on a floor closer to their home in Cleveland. This team is getting better, and if this defense plays like this for the next 20 or so games, this postseason could last a long time. I'll tell you, one guy we should mention before we go, in fact, let's mention a couple of guys. Gavin Block with 11 points this afternoon, and Doug Taylor continues to play well. Yeah, best efficiency. He's come out the last few games and basically giving you a point a minute kind of numbers in short stretches coming in for Tony Campbell in foul trouble and making Ohio more of a post-heavy team when he's on the floor. He is a lot better this year, and by the end of the season, he may be the league's best six men. What it all adds up to is Ohio now being 7-2 and two after beating Cleveland State this afternoon at the Convocation Center, 71-53. to He's Rob Cornelius. I'm Marty Bannister. An Ohio victory this afternoon, 71-53 over Cleveland State.